Happy Halloween, everyone, and first of all, I would like to apologize just for delaying this video so late, so near Halloween, but anyways, let's just get right to it. This little project is here, um, just for the spirit of Halloween, I'm having these Pokemon decorations. You may use it just for fun, or you may use, I thought I'd share with, uh, with everyone just this fun Halloween idea that you may use if you really like Pokemon and decorating for your house for Halloween, but most likely, I'm just going to have this just to have a ton of fun. But anyways, uh, <clears throat> you may like this idea, you may want to try it, uh, but here goes. Let me just... You can use this to create a really nice shadow of the Pokemon here. Here you can see it in the background. You can see the really nice shadow and you can use anything you'd like. Try to get this out of the way. Here you can tilt it. You can zoom, you can change it around. This is just one, this is this Hauntor. I have many, I have a couple others here. I'd like to show you. I have Gengar right here. You can see that right there. You can adjust the size of the shadow. You can play around with it a lot. You can make him dance. You can do many other crazy things with this. I have a couple other ghosts here. This is another very popular one from Generation 2. I know a lot of late, uh, people who like right here, Ms. Grievous. And here you I also got right here Sableye. Right there. You can play around with him a bit. Here you can see the gems for his eyes and the shadow and the light. I also have the begrudged toy. Bannet. Right there. You can see him. Play around. We also have the cute little ghost. He was also made out of a tree. We got Phantom. Right there, you can zoom it in back and forth. You can get it in real nice, real close, real far. And we have the legendary ghost, Darkrai. Very popular one. Give me a sec. Right there. Put him in further out. <coughs> now it would probably be better just to have a stand for each of these Pokemon. And it is good to have a really bright light source. The brighter the better and you can reposition them any way you want. The closer to the light, the bigger the shadow will be. Anyways guys, these are just a couple examples that I have for you. There's just seven Pokemon for you. You can use to decorate this Halloween if you like. And anyways, enjoy and have a happy Halloween.